Salutations, Cosmonauts! So, this is another Razor Leaf uh, video, but in this one, this is gonna be my final modification, man. I thought that once I got to uh, class uh, B piloting and level 20, I'd be able to get some really badass reactors, but I don't know why I thought that. I just made some bad assumptions, I guess. So, I'm getting impatient! I'm tired of looking for a better reactor to really fully uh, juice out this uh, Razor Leaf, so I'm just gonna max out with uh, what I have here. So, this could be my fast, uh, my last modification video for the Razor Leaf. Okay, so here's a razor leaf. Let's go ahead and uh, press B to modify this. So I learned a few things. One thing I learned was that um, an all-in-one um, Deimos hab is actually better than a living quarters because it has like four beds. Which means I didn't need to save my captain's quarters. The only reason why I kept my captain's quarters is because I wanted the bed. So let's start off by just pulling some stuff apart so we can see what's going on. So I'm co pressing control and just clicking all this stuff here. Whoops. I don't know why it did that. But for you guys on the controllers, you can do this by pressing the right, right uh, mouse bumper. So, yeah, I wanna pull all this off. And let's move my landing gear as well. I don't think I need to move anything else. I think I have a clear sh Well, okay, let's move the landing gear too. <laughs> I'll leave these portals, I don't care. So let's get rid of um, the captain's quarters. I'm gonna add, uh, um, yeah. What was it called? So, I'm hovering over this right here, this connection point, and I'm pressing G. You guys on the controls can't do it, so just go anywhere else and just press add and look for the module I'm adding. So, I'm going over here. So, I'm hovering over this, pressing G, and going to Damus all-in-one berths, and um, yeah, I want all-in-one, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, that's cool. So, with that here, I no longer need these living quarters. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna put an armory back here because you know the ship started with an armory and I kind of like the idea of displaying weapons So I'm gonna put armory put whatever you want. So I'm over over this pressing G and back into Deimos uh, Two by ones. And I'm gonna look for the armory. There's the armory. Okay armory is there And let's see this is my workshop and over here I have a science lab the only reason why I put a science lab here is because I didn't realize that the all oh, the Deimos workshop has a research lab in it so I really don't need that anymore. And instead, um, let's go for some creature comforts for my, for my crew. I'm hovering over the connection point here, pressing G. And um, I think I'm just gonna put, um, I'm gonna put living quarters here. I guess I could have moved the other one where I had, but that's fine, that'll work. And now let's put everything back together. Let's put this back. So let's just select all this stuff. And let's put this back. There we go. And I can put this landing gear back. There we go. So now I don't have any redundance. Like the science lab, I would never use it. I don't <laughs> I don't make pharmaceuticals. I don't see myself making pharmaceuticals. So now let's work with the layout here I have. Okay, what did I want to do? Oh, well, you know what? I don't like how this stuff is sitting here. So I'm going to reposition this. Messing around, I know I was able to do this. And I got this right here, the scan jammer multi frequency. I got this from um, Crix, from the was it the key? But I I no longer have access to that. I decimated the Crimson Fleet. Okay, and uh, this was also from the Crimson Fleet here. But this is nice stuff. EM damages reduces EM damages by fifty percent and increases shield regeneration by twenty five. And I'm gonna put this right there, so they're kind of tucked away. And I have this comp spike here. Time to lock onto enemy ships is reduced by 25%. Yeah, Crimson Fleet stuff. I'm gonna put this over here. And I gotta lower the plane by pressing F. Boom, that's in. And that just makes things look so much cleaner. So next up, I'm gonna upgrade my shields. And this reactor's fine, but I could do better. I mean, there's it's like barely better, but you'll see. Um, so this has what, 20 power generations, which is good. And uh, reactor health could be better. So I think there's a class B reactor I can get that's just slightly better. So I'd, let's delete that. Hovering over this connection point, pressing G. Now let's look at the reactors. Here's the reactors. So what was I looking at? So that's 16, 18. Okay, this is 21. This is the one I was looking at. So it just has one more power generated. Yeah, but it has more hole capacity. So I guess that's how much damage it could take before it's destroyed. Health reactors also. Reactor health is also higher, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, cool. And now let's put a shield on here. So pressing G on the connection point again. Here's shields. 
this is what I had, so 390 max health, so I unlocked some B class sh uh, shield generators, and then, uh, let's see, I was looking at this one. So it has uh, a bit more shields, max power cost is up by one, but we got the reactor with plus one, so that's cool. Um, the mass is a little bit heavier, right? Yeah, 27 by a good bit, actually. And I'm actually going to lose 5 mobility by going with this, but, you know, that's a trade-off I'm willing to make. Okay, cool. So, a little bit less mobility, slightly a bit more mass, so, yeah, this is good. Honestly, I could probably be fine not making any more modifications to this, but I really want to beef up my weapons. Yeah, that final, um mission if the crimson fleet realized just how little damage i was doing overall so i'm basically gonna double what i've been doing so i'm gonna keep these uh disruptor beams someone in the comments said um there's some really good uh, um electron beams from the vanguard but i haven't done the quest line yet it's not unlocked for me so this is what i'm gonna go with so i'm just um pressing um control and g to duplicate this and i'm gonna place this up here which requires me to go up some planes there we go and then i'm gonna duplicate that Put that over here. Okay. So I think this is uh, the final form. I guess I, I need a color match. So you guys with the controllers can do this as well. But uh, this is uh, how you do it. You click whatever part that has the color scheme you want. Press J. Then go up here, just make a slight tweak. Then tweak it back. Click accept. And now you save the color palette. So then um, just select the whole thing. I know on the controllers you can do that. Select the whole ship. And then go up, press J. And color one was this very first one, this gray. Color two was this second block here, which is like a really dark green. Color three is the same thing. And boom, color is set. So yeah, we're here. This is good. So I got my my suppressors here for when I want to board ships. And yeah. Overall, the only thing I lost was five mobility, but I doubled my weapons. And let's see, my total power. For my, all my equipment's 33, my reactor's 21, but that's fine because you don't need a full grav drive. In fact, most of the time you don't need anything in a grav drive, so whenever you want to jump, just take a little bit out of the engine, dump it into your grav drive, and you're set. I want to max out my weapons. All right. So, yeah, this is it. So let's go. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a tour of the ship before we take flight and test out these weapons on some badass UC ships and see how I do. And the total cost was uh, 42530 Okay, so here's uh, from our landing bay. You enter right away here. This is your uh, docking port when you dock other ships. That leads to the second floor, so. All right, so this is all in one. Yeah, four beds. Didn't need a captain's quarter here. And it's way more open. So yeah, straight shot all the way to the cockpit. So that's cool. Now let's go to the second floor. Okay, so here's my armory. Very cool. And the way the ship is laid out, it's uh, it's not a maze. So just just one main sort of passageway here that leads off to the various pads. All right, so here's my workshop. Here's that stupid research lab that I just didn't notice. It's right there. How could I not notice? But okay. And then across the way, that was the crew quarters, right? So yeah, a place for R and R where could they they could do some cooking. I wonder why I can't cook here. Hmm. Not that I'm gonna cook. I don't want to cook. But yeah, they could chill here. Too bad there's no TV or anything. All right, let's test these weapon systems out. Okay, so here we are in orbit. And if I was in a situation where there's a crap load of ships, this is how I would divvy out my juice. Max out shields, max out engines. And in a situation like this, you want to take advantage of your really good range. So boost out a range of everything first. Okay, let's see if this is far enough away. So let's target something. Okay, so that's a uh, level 10. I want something hi a higher level. These are all like lower level. I'm looking for like level 30 at least. Okay, that's level 30, the Chimera. So in this situation, I'd get my ass kicked because there's just so many ships around. So let me, now that I got my target, let's just get out of range of everybody first. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at my targeting at the top right. So I'm gonna get around 3,500-ish range before I attack. And my ship is very fast, extremely mobile. So yeah, I could outrun anything. 
Okay, so I'm like roughly 330, so let's turn around. And uh, let's just see how much damage we could do. Yeah, I'm doing that pretty good. So yeah, you're, ch you're taking advantage of the range you have here. So by the time I get in range, he should be dead. Or not. Really close though. Okay, so we destroyed that guy. Alright, yeah. Alright, now I want to see what it would be like if with maxed out weapons. So I'm now at uh, 3500 range. Let's see how fast we can tear this up. Oh yeah. That is pretty crazy. So boost in, try not to get like locked by uh, enemy ships. Oh yeah, we're... yeah. This is, I like this a lot. The boost out of range of everything else. Right, so obviously this is not some overpowered build that's gonna take out the entire UCR armada. This is meant for like just really awesome fun gameplay, just doing my uh, missions as I play normally. And I think uh, in that respect this ship is going to be very potent. Yeah, extremely high mobility, extremely high range, very very powerful weapons. So yeah, this is the best I could do with the given limited knowledge I have of the game, so uh, you guys could probably do even better. But uh, yeah, like if you find like a much better um, reactor man, go for it. But this is me! So yeah, that's the end of my uh, tinkering with the Razor Leaf. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some ideas. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. But have a great day. Thank you so much for your support. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video.